Welcome to Baal Hertog in Belgium. No. Welcome to Baal Nassau in the Netherlands. No. Belgium. It's the Netherlands. Belgium. Okay, everyone, please calm down. It's both. Welcome to the town with one of the most intricate borders in the whole world. Barl is a quiet, small town with not much going on. Until you look at these crosses. Yeah, that's an international border. And so is that, and so is that. Barl is home to a living border puzzle. Instead of one border crossing, there are dozens of them. And that's because the town consists of 30 enclaves. There are 22 pieces of Belgium surrounded by the Netherlands and 10 Dutch areas in Belgium. The border goes through houses, shops, beer stores. And this means that there are two of almost everything for a population of under 10,000. Two postal services, two churches, two bus companies, two legal drinking ages. There are even two mayo toppings at this chicken shop. Yep, this one's Dutch and this one's Belgian. And there's two town halls. And of course, a meeting room with a borderline in it and two separate representatives. So how did the town get into this messy situation? That heeft echt te maken met het verleden. Eind uh, eind 12e eeuw moet ik zeggen, kwam er een hertog van Brabant en die besloot delen van dit gebied over te hevelen aan de heer van Breda in ruil voor bescherming. And later on, this meant that the Duke of Brabant possessed Belgian lands and the Lord of Breda Dutch lands. En zo ontstond eigenlijk die hele rare situatie. En pas in 1995 zijn de grenzen officieel vastgesteld, zoals ze nu vandaag ook nog steeds bestaan. Het zijn twee verschillende gemeentes en toch moeten wij samen beslissingen nemen. En als je het hebt over wegen, als je het hebt over verlichting, als je het hebt over riolering, dat moeten we echt samen doen. Wij zijn een soort Siamese tweeling. Got it. So, head of tourism Willem. How do you know where your house is if the border goes through it? We have a front door rule. And the front door rule says there where your front door is, that is the place where you have your domicile, where you, where you are living, Belgium or Holland. But what about front doors that get chopped off by the border, like this one? That's an exception. Living there, you, you can choose uh, both ways, of course. Like gallery owner Sylvia. This is Belgium, this is Netherlands, and this is my gallery. I have chosen from Belgium because I was living in Belgium, my company was Belgium, so I take the easiest way. All right, but the international commute, it must be tiring, right, cafe manager Willem? Of course. My cafe is at the, the Dutch side. I am Belgian, so uh, I cross the border every day. But I live here 200 meters from, so uh, it's not that far. Okay, so my last question, it has to be this. Which town is best, Barl Hertog or Barl Nasa? I prefer both. I'm Dutch. And to be honest, I like the way of living more on the Belgian side. <laughs> Barle oh, Hertog, of course. In the end, it doesn't matter which side of the border you choose. All in all, this is just a great love story between two countries. And we will not a voorbeeld zijn. Barle Hertog, Barle Nas, a voorbeeld zijn for other situations where grenzen wel grote problemen zijn. We have learned to deal with each other. We have learned to live with each other. And I could say we are an example for the rest of Europe, maybe the rest of the world. Hi, I'm Sophia. I've produced this piece. Uh, we've also produced other pieces about very quirky towns. And one of them is Below. <laughs>